How to record audio using the phone's microphone. Simply create a recorder using the Flutter sound package. Next, create a recording button. If we click on this button, we stop or start the recording. Therefore, let's also create the stop and record methods. To make this work, you also need to initialize and dispose the recorder if it is not needed. Let's also initialize it by requesting the microphone permission using the permission handler package. After this, initialize the recorder. With this, we can click on this button to start the recording and we can also stop the recording. Next, above the recording button, we create the recording progress using a stream builder. Simply access the duration of your recording and display it within your app. Optionally, improve the duration text by also displaying the minutes and seconds of the recording. With this, if we start the recording, then we also see how long we are already recording. Importantly, to make this progress work, you also need to go to your init recorder method and after initializing the recorder, you need to make sure that you set here the duration of how often this progress is updated. Finally, the most important part is to also get the path of the recorded file. Simply check out my next video if you also want to play this recorded audio file. And lastly, in your state, add this boolean field if the recorder is ready, then go to your init recorder method and after initializing the recorder, you set this flag to true. And now use this flag to make sure that the recorder is ready when recording or stopping the audio player. And finally, go to your build Gradle file to make this audio recorder work on Android and set the min SDK version to at least 21. Also go to your Android manifest file and add the record audio permission. Next, to make it work on iOS, go to your pod file and set the platform version to at least 10. Also scroll down and under this post install, you need to add the microphone permission. Also open Xcode. Go to the build settings and select all. Search for other linker flags. Select it and double click on the value and then click on add. Type dash LC++ and press enter. How to play music and audio files in Flutter. Simply create an audio player that comes from the audio players package. Next, create three fields to store if the audio is currently playing, the duration of the song and the current position of the song. Inside the build method, we create an image, a title and a subtitle, a slider with the current position. Below it, we create a row with the current position and the total duration of the song optionally display the remaining time of the song. And lastly, we create the play and pause button. If we press on this button, then we pause and play the song. First of all, we play the song from the internet from a URL. With this, we can click on the play button and it already starts playing the song. However, the UI is not updated. For this, we go to the init state method and here inside we listen to the player changes to detect if our player is currently playing. We also listen to audio duration changes and also save it in our state. And finally, we listen to the audio position changes and also save it within our state. With this, if I click on this play button, then it is playing the song. You see the duration and also the position is already updated. And we can also pause the song and play it again. However, we cannot change the slider. Therefore, let's also go to the slider. And then we use the new slider position to change the position of our song. And optionally, if the audio was paused, then you can also resume playing the audio. Let's also try it out. As of now, if we click on the play button, then we are loading and playing the song from this URL. However, instead of loading the song inside the play button, we only want to resume playing the song. And within the init state method, we load this audio inside of a separate method. By the way, if you want to repeat this song when it is completed, then set this loop flag. After this, we load the song using the set URL method. Next to loading a file from the internet, you could also load a local file from the phone storage by setting this is local flag to true. You could simply pick this file using the file picker package. And the third option is to load this audio file from the assets folder. Again, set this is local flag to true. And then load this assets file from the assets folder. 
To make this work, go to your pubspec YAML file and under the Flutter tag, add the assets folder.